It's called the Managed Equipment Service Project. After a formal tender process, Philips is a successful bidder. All imaging equipment, with the exception of the existing CT scanner, will now come under a maintenance and replacement program with Philips. The existing CT scanner will remain in situ and a new CT scanner will be purchased and sited within the hospital, in addition to the existing one. Each piece of um, equipment or kit comes with its expected lifespan. So from day one, we've already got drawn up, a lot of work has gone into this behind the scenes, we've already got drawn up an equipment replacement plan which we agreed with the provider, which basically says this is the equipment that will be um, replaced in year one, year two and so forth. Um, obviously our, our latest or new newer pieces of kit uh, won't be replaced for several years, but some of the older pieces of kit that, that have needed replacing um, or are in imminent need of replacing uh, will be replaced in year one straight away. The project will also see a cardiac catheterization suite created and a cardiac catheter lab team recruited. It's expected approximately £500,000 a year will be spent employing 10 new staff, including radiologists and nurses. So this is a stepwise change for the hospital. Um, a car First, I think, the question is, what is a cardiac catheter lab? This is a sophisticated cardiac theatre. What it has is a lot of uh, complex imaging and monitoring. And what it allows us to do is to diagnose and treat a multitude of cardiac disorders, particularly imaging coronary arteries. You know, these are the arteries that block as part of creation of heart attacks and angina. This is a, a, a problem that's particular to Andalusia and to Gibraltar. So there's a high incidence of this sort of situation. And it uh, requires often timely operations. The GHA handles approximately 400 cardiac procedures a year, diagnostic as well as treatment. 35 to 50 of these are more serious instances of blockages. For a place Gibraltar's size, the numbers are high. One of the, th the things we looked at prior to the development of uh, the plans for this was looking at the incidents. And we um, looked at comparisons in terms of the number of stents we were put in throughout Europe and we were second which came as a bit of a surprise, but does illustrate the sort of rising, you know, reasonable risk factors for coronary disease that we have locally and, as I say, within Andalusia generally. The risk factors for coronary disease are multiple, but certainly we would look at exercise levels, we would look at incidence of smoking and the incidence of type 2 diabetes particularly, and those are uh, things that are prevalent locally. At present, this service is delivered in Spain by a private provider, which means that any patient requiring this type of investigation or treatment must travel to Spain, Los Varios or Benalmadena, with the possibility of a delay in receiving the treatment. Journalists heard that despite the recent change of policy by the Spanish authorities at the frontier, no lives have been endangered by delays getting across during an emergency. The operations we're looking to undertake through this are often procedures that need doing in a timely fashion. Some of these are emergency procedures in which it's important to undertake them as soon as possible, and certainly within an hour if possible. And the outcomes, if you can do them within an hour, are better than otherwise. So that's clearly of importance to Gibraltar, as at the present time we're using hospitals in Spain, which involve crossing an international border, and with inevitable delays in that process, not particularly related to the border, but simply in terms of putting people into ambulances and transferring them across the country. Building of the cardiac catheterization suite will commence soon and it's expected to take approximately 9 to 12 months to bring the service up to full operating capacity. It is important to demonstrate quality. These things have, uh, operations have complication rates. It's important that we can demonstrate that this is offering not only a timely but a quality service to Gibraltar. As part of the development of this unit, we are cooperating with Guys and St Thomas's and they will provide overview for us and clinical overview. So I think it is, we, it is a stepwise change for the hospital. You know, we're not having to rely on uh, undertaking vital procedures in um, Spanish hospitals, but we can have the ability to do that locally, which I think is a, obviously a major change for the hospital. The health minister said the project has been programmed for some time and is a testament to the long-term vision for the improvement of the GHA, with a direct impact on the quality of care and outcome for patients.